Hello everyone and welcome to episode 100 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Can we believe it? No, I cannot. It's been nearly two years in the making and every week without fail. And uh, most of the times it's been Thursday with the exception of a couple of Wednesdays during last Christmas, I think it was. But every week we've uh, had a good time through the premieres, learned a lot of stuff during the way. And uh, I just wanna take this opportunity to say a big thank you to all my subscribers, to my patrons, to the Discord members, to the Discord admins. I wanna say thanks to the, my moderators and very big thanks to my family as well. Thanks for putting up every time I flip out and need to go down in the basement and do some recording and I go, oh, I don't know what to model. Or, I'm really thankful. Uh, thanks a lot to my family, my kids, my wife, and for everyone who's made this possible. It's been a, such a journey. I'm really, really happy to have uh, gotten to this point now. And to celebrate this, I've uh, created a 100 minute episode today and uh, I'm uh, going to air that one now. And uh, first, I'm going to put an intro together. You know me, I, do, uh, I don't shy when it comes to uh, the length on the intros. So I've put together a little clip from every episode now. So let's just review the whole thing. Uh, I hope you got yourself something to drink now, a popcorn, and you might need a, not a pillow, hmm. an airbag or something when you smash your head into the like test or something, then when you smash your head into the like test, test, test or something. Today I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna try to make a spaceship in Blender 2.81 in uh, 10 minutes. Hello and welcome back to my channel, guys. My name is Stefan Paschlin, also known as Infensia, and um, it's time for another Blender quick build. I'm gonna spend 10 minutes to try to make myself an Imperial Imperial Star Destroyer. Troll Tower, I think there uh, should be some uh, geometry there. No chance I had time for <laughs> to add that one. Welcome back, it's Thursday. Time for another 10 minute modeling challenge in Blender. Okay, four, three, two, one, finished. So welcome back to another 10 minute Blender modeling challenge. Yeah, it's Thursday again, guys, and it's uh, Thursday again and time for another 10 minute blend modeling challenge. Welcome back to yet another Thursday. It's today I'm going to make a little city block cake this time around a train. And uh, this is the 10th episode now, so I've stuck to it for this long. Hopefully I'll be able to last this year out as well. Uh, today I'm going to really go in deep. That sounds so wrong. Uh, today, what am I going to do? Oh, I haven't generated the rig. Generate P. Oh, did I do it? I didn't think I, I forgot about uh... generating the rig from the meta rig, so oh, flip out. Okay, not upside down, it's gonna go <laughs> drive you nuts. Let's put it that way. Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another Thursday. I'm gonna spend another 10 minutes in Blender and I'm gonna model myself a car. Oh, I don't even like VR. <laughs> what am I, 12? Smalls down to there. A scale. 13 seconds to go, G. And get the window color to there. Hello everyone and Hello, welcome hey. to this week's video. We're gonna make yeah. another Blender build. This is... Aiden. Aiden. And you are? Amelia. I think you have to be Good. like... Like 30 years old to do this because this is complicated. Is this complicated, do you think? Oh, I smell bacon. All right, I think we're about ready to light it up. Ooh. Oh, yes, you cannot barbecue without a beer. So. All right, folks, just getting set up here, ready to do another 10 minute modeling challenge. Hope you're all doing good, by the way. And it's a stressful time, I know, but we'll get through it. We'll uh, make some Blender stuff, make some Unity, make some games, stay inside. Just uh, don't let it stop you from having fun, at least. <laughs> Hello, guys, and welcome back. It's Thursday again, and we're here for episode number 16 of the 10-minute modeling challenge. Select, 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 control P with automatic weights. <laughs> I think I did it. Oh, my God. I think I did it. That's it. That's all I got. Yep. Let's be a little for fun. No. Come for Oh, we have to speak English again so they know. So you have to pick your favorite character now. Which one's your favorite? Oh. All of them. Those are my favorite too. Yeah. Can you see what they are? Police. Hmm. Police. And a girl. A girl. And a pirate. And a pirate. And a farmer. Fireman. Oh, no, did you say farmer? farmer? Does he look like a farmer? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. I should have put something else on it. I mostly like the girl. You mostly like the girl. Yeah. But I also like her. Do you see? But mostly like her. Can you see that she's pregnant? She's got a belly. <laughs> Everybody has a belly. Everyone's got a belly, yeah, that's right. Have, have you got to see what the pirate has got? Parrot. Yeah, parrot. What does he have more? Can you see? Hat. Hat. And a hook. And a hook, yeah. On his hand. And he also has something like 
has the single that um, pirates usually has on their leg. But yeah. I don't know what it's called. Oh, yeah, it's called Peg Leg. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And it has a peg leg. Should we go and play something? Yeah! <laughs> Let's do that. Bye, Bye for now. <laughs> Subscribe to him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Once I get a telephone, I'm going to subscribe. Thank you. All right, let's go. Welcome back, it's Thursday again, and we're gonna do another 10 minute build. <laughs> episode 18 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. And we're gonna do episode 19 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Pour myself water over the head. Is that, is that even a saying in English? Hela vattnet över huvudet. Thanks for uh, everyone who's so active in the chat and in the comments and for uh, liking the video and sharing it. I've been terrible at trying to reply to comments lately. I do it on and off and I try to reply to as many as I can and then it just gets on top of me. Welcome back to another episode. It's episode 21 of the low poly mod... <laughs> I'm gonna say low poly modeling challenge now because that's pretty much what it's become. Drip... <laughs> drip in. <laughs> I can only dip in every now and then because uh, my days are quite filled but all of you guys who are already there, you're super great, uh, talkative and really talented as well so I'm sure you can find some help so head over to the discord server if you want to have a general chat to some nice people or if you want to have some help with unity or uh, blender yeah and or if you want to show off what you're doing as well that's it for this week I hope you're gonna have a great week ahead of you stay self selfish no <laughs> stay healthy guys I've got a shotgun mic right in front of the, the camera here that should be picking up the audio a little bit better Thursday it's episode 22 and just like I said it was just gonna be like that <laughs> and we're sitting here again for another video also I want to say a few more things before I, I depart not depart that sounded like I was gonna depart <laughs> for a long time I'm gonna be back back next Thursday so don't don't worry about that oh yeah the discord is blowing up that's a lot of fun thanks a lot guys for joining I think it's got like 350 people in there now it's a nice little community growing we're talking about uh, how to do blender stuff how to do, do unity and we share things you know I've been outside a little bit in the sunshine but not so much because I've been inside a lot oh yeah my platformer with the dominator guy that runs around and shooting all sorts of stuff it's, uh, floating islands with some animated uh, tiles on that one up ah yeah, and we're done. Oh, so, uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. come on! I haven't done a lot of extrusion, so now S to extrude, S to extrude, S to extrude. S to extrude. In there for a video. I hope everything's all right. I hope you're doing all right. I hope you didn't fall asleep. Oh yeah, the Discord is blowing up. <laughs> My beard is growing long. Hmm. All right. Hello and welcome everyone to episode 24 of the low, low poly modeling challenge. I said it again. That and pro probably we're going to make uh, within the family uh, since my kids and my wife even is interesting to make some interested to make some. <laughs> my wife's interesting. That's why I married her. We're going to make episode 25 today, folks. Uh, so uh, a lot of uh, familiar faces in the chat every week. Uh, really happy to see uh, a lot of people joined. I think we set a new record last week uh, with 418 simultaneous uh, viewers for the premiere. Super excited about that. So thanks a lot, boys and girls. But I have to say girls now. We've got proof now in the comments that there are multiple women or girls watching. So that's great. I've had some requests to do something that I spend more than 10 minutes on. So I've spent about uh, maybe... Uh, an hour and a half, two hours on creating a more detailed island here. Right guys, and welcome back to another Thursday. It's episode 26 of the 10 minute modeling challenge and I'm gonna do more low poly stuff. Today, I'm gonna make a little red Swedish cottage. Here, let's get cranking, let's get cottaging. Hope you've had a good week so far. It's gonna be episode 27 of the low poly. Oh, no. I'm in Sweden where it's usually quite cold and right now, it's too warm for me. It's 28 degrees Celsius and that's like a sauna for me. So struggling here a little bit, but I'm in the basement at least. That's the coolest place in the house, literally, because there's my computer room as well. They go crazy. I've uh, made a video a few years ago where you can actually make a custom, it's like a custom editor where you can assemble your own ships. So I made about uh, maybe 20, 30 modules and you could basically create any ship with that one. I had a lot of fun with it. I should probably pick that up someday. Hello guys, um, <laughs> oh, that was a bit loud. Hello guys and welcome back to episode 28. And I'm getting in focus. So, uh, no landing gear. I should be all right. I guess it's up and flying. I think uh, that's our chopper. And time's up guys and girl. 
And I also want to give a big shout out to all my patrons. Thanks a lot. Your support is really helping me out. And today I'll be uploading the 29 blend files that I've created during the course of this 10 minute modeling challenge to my Patreon page. So all tiers will be able to download those and have a look how they were made. And I'm building a diffuser, so I'm actually recording that part because I'm going to record some sound effects. Hello folks, and welcome to another episode of the 10 minute modeling challenge. My name is Stefan Passion, also known as Infensia, and today I finally got my merch. Should it be a bit lower? Nipple height, maybe? Huh? This is a large one. Uh, ooh. Nice. I also got this one. Let's see what you think. How about that? Hello folks, and welcome to episode 31 of the 10 minute modeling challenge, which is turning out to be the 10 minute low polling modeling challenge. So with vacation, been chilling a bit in the garden, uh, playing a lot with the kids. Uh, the weather's been pretty nice, so we've also been out for some walks around uh, the area where I live here in Nynäshamn in Sweden. Then I even hopped on mine for a few minutes as well, brush up on my wheelie skills. <laughs> Today we're gonna do a lot of extruding and scaling as usual, and it's episode 32. Episode 33. That's the most empty space bookshelf ever. Oh, time's up. I'm gonna switch the fan off now and uh, get ready to record episode 34 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. I'm closing in now. I'm past 95k subscribers. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm really excited about that. And to celebrate 100k, I'm gonna do a 24 hour live stream. That's terrifying. Whew. Feels like I'm on, uh, on a lot of caffeine today. Ca caffeine? I'm ramping up on the caffeine, as you can hear. And I've got my e extrude and Estes scale cup. It came through today after three weeks of delivery. So if you, if you live in Europe and you order uh, my merch, be aware that it could take a bit of uh, delivery time because uh, some of the items have to be shipped from the US. And, you know, so I have to pay customs on that. They're ripping off as usual. Hello, guys, and welcome to another episode of the 10 Minute Modeling Challenge. This is going to be episode 35, and uh, I'm going to be modeling a wizard this time around. Check this out. It's a little, uh, it's a chassis fan for a computer with a little uh, temporary make do power supply that I've uh, hacked together. And I need this because it's super, well, I say it's super warm. Uh, this is Sweden. I'm a Swede. So uh, I don't really cope well with the heat. And if uh, I think uh, if someone from uh, Africa, Asia, or I mean, Central America or something like that, if they sat down here, they'd probably put a coat on. Be a little bit chilly for them, maybe, but not for me. I'm roasting as it is. It's probably not that warm, but it's warm for me. Ah, and it's moving. So I've got IK on there. So hopefully we'll see how the road works, though. Time's up. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome to episode 36 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. I'm your host Stefan Passion, also known as Infensia. That was a bit formal, I think. I'll strike that and start over. Last Saturday we had a lot of fun. It was a 24 hour live stream to celebrate 100,000 subscribers on this channel. From 6 a.m. in the morning on Saturday until 6 a.m. on Sunday. I sat in this chair pretty much the whole time and modeled uh, low poly characters and I animated them and rigged them and things like that. And I saw a lot of things going on in the chat. I wish I could have caught a little bit more of it, but the stuff that I did see, you seemed like you had a pretty good time and so did I. I had a lot of fun trying to catch up what was going on I did some mistakes, but my wife ran down and my kids going, the music is too loud. <laughs> they can't hear what you're saying. Someone asked a question that I missed. All right, everyone, and welcome to episode 39 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Also known as the low poly modeling challenge near enough, because that's mostly what I do. Seems to be my thing. This time around, I'm going to be modeling boxy little animals. We've got time's up, my friends. You're going to be modified. All right, just I'll, I'll leave you to it. Fine. But Fine, just don't get do out. It I'll do it. I'll, I'll start over changing things up. So now let's model a little house. Why do I speak like this? Got some uh, really colorful characters. <laughs> we've got some. We've got some really colorful. Come on, come on. <laughs> we've got some really colorful. Colorful. We've got some really colorful. I can't say it. We've got some really interesting people there. A lot of fun to have to do with them. So check out the Discord link. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to episode. Oh, that was a bit over energetic. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 41 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. <laughs> Everything's normal now again, we're back into doing intros. On Patreon, if you've seen my work in the past, I've done quite a few platformer stuff, Not mostly prototypes and Ludum Dare games. I've never really released a, a full proper platform game. Hey! Serialize field to make a show up in the inspector. Could have just typed public as well, but this is the proper way to do it. Episode 42 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Or maybe it's just uh, that the torque is a little bit slow. If you try the game, you'll figure out and you'll probably put some comments that, uh, well, the game looks pretty decent, but the controls are horrible. All right, and what else? 
this arrived. I mentioned this last time, and uh, my YouTube Creators Award has arrived. I still haven't opened it, so I'm really excited. And it's got a green sticker here, so it might be messing up. And time's up. All right, guys, and welcome back to episode 43 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. And uh, we're actually part three into this little mini series where we're also making a platform game in the bonus material. On today's menu, we've got, uh, oh, I got found my E2 Extrude and S to Scale shirt again. It was hiding in the laundry somewhere, but now I found it, so I put it on. You can buy this as well. Check out the merch link in the description. Yep, goes in. What's that in the distance? It's a cliffhanger. <laughs> Go, and we are off. I'm going to move this one to the side. I don't want to delete the default cube. Hello, guys, and welcome to episode 45 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. So this time around, it's an intro again. I'm really sorry about last week. I thought I'll try to make a video that was exactly 10 minutes long since that was what the title has been all year round. Felt weird. Felt like I was missing out on the intro and also after the video, the no bonus tip felt empty in the chat as well in the premiere. So apologies for that Ollie robot guy with a minigun and the rigging is working really, really well, I think. So I've got a rig for his uh, torso and his head to look at where he's aiming. And I've also got a rig. Ooh, overall 20th. Graphics, I'm number four in graphics. That is wow. I'll have some Yule Must first. If you haven't tried Swedish Yule Must, you should try that. I'm uh, rocking the light version here. Hello guys, and welcome to episode 47 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. We're closing in on 5050, and I've nearly been doing this for a year now, in, like uh, over towards the sun or something. And what I wanted to do was rotate them individually like a flower opening. So I pressed comma, and then I went to normal here. And a normal, if you don't know what a normal is, it's the opposite of the not normal. Okay. And uh, if you have a face like this, not like this, but like this, uh, like a polygon face, itchy face, for example, then the normal is facing perpendicular to uh, this face, not this face, to this face. So if uh, you have a face like this, the normal is like that. If you have uh, like uh, this, that's awkward. If like this, then the normal is like that. <laughs> Unless you want the normal to go like that, of course. Then it's the opposite. That makes no sense either. Anyway, it's not like that. It's like that. Hello, guys, and welcome to episode 4... Is it 47? I keep saying it wrong. Yes, it is. Hello, guys, and welcome to episode 47 of the 10 Minute Modeling Challenge. This time it really is number 47. I said it wrong last week, but never mind. In this video, I'm gonna try to do the impossible. I'm gonna, in 10 minutes, create a perfect topology car with all the quads, and I'm gonna nail it. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Check this out. Sound 125. It's the ray gun or the laser, laser Yvar in Swedish, of Boba Fett, the bounty hunter. This whole book is full of cool stories, how they record those sound effects. And you might be surprised that everything that you hear in a film is fake. Yeah. Even the horse sound itself, you'd think that it was a real horse, but no, no, no. It's the same guy who's like flapping the straps. He's going. <laughs> flapping of a dragon's wing, a cheese grater on a string that they're swinging in the air. One second, E to extrude. That's the scale, I wrote that. Oh, hello everyone and welcome to episode 48 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Last week I did the 10 minute car and I was really happy about that one. I ended up modeling myself another three cars. So I just uh, made some imaginary sports looking type of cars. And after I modeled those cars, I made a little simple interior for them. Rotate. Rotate. G. Ah, that's it. Uh, if your model starts to look uh, not the way you wanted to, either you could start over and then try to fix those things. We had some glitches with uh, from the mirror modifier now. Eyebrows. Yeah. All right, guys, and welcome to episode 49 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. E to ext oh, Okay, we can't do that. Uh, shift right, control L, material. Ah! Okay. It's white text on white background. 
Okay, episode 50! Woohoo! Can you quiet down a little bit? You have to clean up after you. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome for real this time. This is going to be episode 50 of the 10 minute modeling challenge and uh, for this one, one of my daughters here, Emilia, she's going to join in. She's going to ask critical questions while we're doing this modeling stuff. I don't know what that's. That's okay, that's probably good. Uh, clone features. Um, get all of these, shift Fine. select them, control J, make them into one object and then we'll merge them that's into like the time traveling. Control I'll fail now because this is just changing the scale. L, scale, this one's bigger. Ah, that's it. Ah, we're out of time. <laughs> Just gotta wait for the washing machine to finish. Take another little spin. All right. All right, guys, and welcome back to another episode. It's episode 51 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. And uh, drop by there if you wanna have, uh, give it a little bit of extra. That's what 52 cards sound like. Getting really close to Christmas now. It's actually Christmas Eve tomorrow if you're watching this today. If uh, today happens to be the 23rd. GZ. GZ. That should be nice. GZ. That's it. Hello everyone and welcome to the very last episode of the 10 minute modeling challenge for this year. But we got there in the end and it was about minus uh, 16 degrees pitch black because up there in the north the sun doesn't really shine at all. Episode 55 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Five seconds to go. All right. Do you know what? I'm gonna end it. Episode 56 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Last week I mentioned about the challenge that's going on this month and if you missed that one check out the discord server, the grips and also making sure that it doesn't poke through. Hello guys and welcome to episode 57. Seven seconds to spare. And uh, I can't do anything now because I haven't done a, a replicated copy. We've got some uh, tints there, but I think so. I think it's all right. Last year into the corridor. And if you were making a side view game, low poly style, That's it. Time's up. Chat. How do you learn to? How did you? How did I learn to do Blender? How did you learn how to do Blender? You asked how I learned how to do Blender, but you said how did you learn Blender? And the way I learned Blender was uh, I just repeated creating very simple object over and over again: houses, buildings, trees, treasure chests, spaceships, airplanes. I don't know anything that you can think of that would fit in a game. So to make a short story long, model the same stuff over and over again: simple items, stuff that you're interested in, stuff that inspires you. Ooh, what's this? A V-neck? Yeah, no hoodie. Hello, guys, and welcome to episode fifth. Why am I flying around like this? Hello guys and welcome to episode 59 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. I live in Nynäshamn in uh, Sweden, just south of Stockholm and about every 10 years or so we actually get a decent amount of snowfall and uh, that's what happened now and it's stayed cold which is nice so all the nice snow sticks on the trees and it doesn't go into sleet and slush and uh, make you slip and slide everywhere. <music>
probably will not interest you. But in 1912, we had the Olympics in sailing going on here at uh, Strandvägen, which actually was the intro sequence that you just saw. That's one of my favorite places here in Ninasam. Today, my friends, we're going to be modeling a bus. Bus. Uh, four seconds, L to select link. Scale, zero, G. There we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 60. Yeah, <laughs> of the 10 minute modeling challenge. If you've ever wondered what the premiere is like during a 10 minute modeling challenge in the Infensia household, I'll show you a little clip here from episode 55 when I was having a premiere. Personally, I was sitting in this chair here and upstairs, two of my kids, my two daughters were sitting in front of the TV eagerly awaiting the premiere. So just have a look at this excitement. So now you know what it's like. My kids are super excited every time I have a premiere. Six seconds. I think that's it. Episode 61. Hello guys and welcome to episode 62 of the 10 minute mulling challenge and I know exactly what you're thinking since I had this thing for the intro <laughs> I'm gonna be bundling a battleship and you're right. I'm gonna be modeling a battleship Five th seconds to go Now I know why I was nervous, because I failed. So episode 62 of the 10 minute mulling challenge, my friends, I failed. So this is going to be the new mascot now for failure. <coughs> ah, okay. Episode 63 of the 10 minute mulling challenge. I'm actually knee deep in rendering stuff right now. I've assembled the city and uh, I've distributed all the city blocks and I've animated a camera to fly through it. And I want to make sure that I give attention to each of the submitted blocks and give them a little comment and a review. And then I'm going to be picking five winners and be announcing those. And I've actually got my computers at home here now rendering that in animation. And episode 64 of the 10 minute mulling challenge. Had to put the fail chick on the floor because I don't want to fail this one. Hello, guys, and welcome to episode 65 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. La la! Okay, have I prepared good for this video? Nope. Is it nearly 2 a.m. in the morning, the night before I'm supposed to air this? Yes. Will I go high poly today? No. This is going to be episode 67. Is it 66? Every week I've got one number to keep track of, and I keep forgetting it. Armature deformed with automatic wakes and three seconds to go control tab into post mode and he is rigged It's all rigged and uh, This is the kids uh, toys that they used to have and uh, I don't know where they got this one But these are just as gory see these kids toys <laughs> That's what I was thinking anyway Whoa. I was gonna actually make a, a little game here inside a blender. E3, oh, this is tight. I might have to scale here. E5, rotate 10 degrees. E, oh, here we go. Clear line. Oh, 60. I typed in 60. Oh, what a noob. Oh, that's annoying. That was on a, such a good roll as well. E4, rotate minus 45. E20. Oh, I was on a sub two minute run there. Once I recorded this and I had shaving foam all over me. Because I shaved. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 68 of the 10 minute mulling challenge. Time's up. Hello guys and welcome to episode 69 of the 10 minute mulling challenge. And maybe I'll do a video on the NLA as well, but mainly the video is about creating all the individual actions and animating these characters so they can be imported into Unity. 70 episodes.
70 Thursdays have gone past. Episode 71. This time around, I'm gonna be doing a spider bot. And it was suggested by Mia PC. Oh. Shift select everything. And so you could probably spend some more. Should we try to slow it down a bit? Maybe it's too fast. 72 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Recording, recording, yeah. I have to minimize this because it's scaring me. It's my own face. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. It's episode 73 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Hello guys and welcome to episode 74 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Super copied anyway, but at least it looks slightly different maybe. Mickey Mouse trees. Ah! Time's up. Episode 75, it is. A little bit brighter on the chest. And there. G. G. That's it, time's up. <laughs> 76. Tab in edit mode, A to select everything, and then you can move that to a different color. Change it, move it. And that's it. I've also made it so that it plays the animation based on the speed of the rounds per minute. It calculates how fast it should play the animation. Christmas cup. It's the best sized cup I've got. I like big cups. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 77 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. What I'm going to do is I'm going to model something and I'm only allowed to eat to extrude an S to scale. So that's been sort of the two key words or two key strokes that uh, has been following this whole series along. And today I'm only allowed to use E to extrude and S to scale. P to extrude, S to scale. Bring that forward. So there, that's it. Time's up. Hello guys and welcome to episode 78 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 79. And in the UV editing tab, we replaced the gradient that we usually use. If you haven't seen my Instagram account, you should head over there now as well. Search up Infensia on Instagram. I thought I'd do a stream this time. Celebrate the big 80. Woohoo! <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Uh, so we'll do cube.female. We don't want to lose the name there. Female. I never put male, M-A-I-L there. 81, control P. Hello guys, and welcome to episode 82 of the 10 minute mulling challenge. It found me, I don't know how, but it found me. With that said, I'm gonna look like the pilot in uh, Airplane, that movie, if anyone remembers that. Yeah, well, I got my summer beard going, jumped from the jump tower into the water with my kids, only from the fifth one, so it wasn't even number 10. Uh, dislocated my shoulder, had to pop it back in underwater. Someone uh, said it could be my age, I don't think so. It's uh, been, I think it'll be fine. I'm just getting younger every year, so it should be all right. Hello everyone and welcome to our little... <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to episode 84 of the 10 minute mulling challenge. This is where we make 10 minute videos that aren't 10 minutes. Hello guys and welcome to episode 85 of the 10 minute mulling challenge. G, 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 I've got one second to go, that's it. Ah. Uh, super hot. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 86 of the 10 minute mulling challenge. Hello and welcome to episode 87 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Okay, I can be second. ready? Huh? Hello and welcome to episode 87 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Stick to this uh, format a little bit every now and then at least, because uh, it's quite fun to step a little bit out of the comfort zone and go away from the really short 10 minute ones. And uh, I have to really learn uh, more about the rendering. So it was a lot of fun to give that a go. Hello guys and welcome to episode 88 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Sound test. One, two. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 89. Ooh, there we have it. We finally have ourselves a dungeon entrance. So thanks Julia for giving me that suggestion. It was a lot of fun to try it and I learned a lot of stuff during this uh, modeling session here. This is episode 90 of the 10 minute modeling challenge and we're gonna revisit the route. Ooh. Caught that before recording, that was good. I slept for nine hours last night. Three times more than I usually sleep. I'm still trying to recover from excessive sleep. Whew, here we go. I feel like I'm taller. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 91 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. That look as well, I, this one was set up to be rendered in Eevee. We can also do the same here with, uh, I'll drag the second view here in. We'll get that pose from the Eevee and then I'm gonna drag my workbench render on top. 
and then switch from uh, normal here to color dodge and that uh, brings it this effect in and you can change it with the opacity of the layer here how much you want this effect i just did the whole intro and i wasn't even recording what's up with that it's just one button to click and i failed to click it anyway hello everyone and welcome to episode 92 of the 10 minute modeling challenge i to inset e to extrude oh, what's the time one second okay there we go it's more of a, I don't know, it's not a tank looking thing. I just rendered uh, an EV version and I also rendered the workbench version and uh, I'm compositing the two just on top of each other with a colored dodge for the workbench one with a cavity look uh, because then you get the, the glowy edgy type of thing. So I think it looks a lot cooler. Is that better? I think so, I feel a bit safer now in frame. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 93 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. It's gonna happen this week, I'm pretty sure. I'm at 199,964 subscribers. So since we're gonna hit that 200k... What? It just happened. On the even, on the dot, 200,000 subscribers. Thank you so much again for subscribing. Super, 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 super thankful. Need to extrude S to scale. It's gonna be picking something up there. So into occlusion and if you if, if I change the factory you can see especially up here for example Welcome to episode 94 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. 96, 97 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. This week I'm gonna do a little uh, suggestion that Ola Jetlund, or if you were uh, saying that in English, it'd be Ola Jetgrove or something. Pretty cool name, I think. So uh, he's uh, in Norway, six seconds, control R. I don't know why I did that for, control R. For no reason, I just divided that one. 10 minutes on the clock, 98. Maybe we'll just do shift B scale E to extrude. Whoa, okay, let's hide that. Let's cancel that. <laughs> okay, that didn't happen. And a tip this week is uh, if you want to learn how to do low poly modeling, pick simple objects and just do them over and over again. And don't obsess over the level of detail. We're on episode 99 and uh, I'm gonna do, uh, I haven't done this one before and I've started another three sentences in the one sentence. I, something I tend to do all the time. I don't seem to be able to complete the sentence without starting a couple of new ones. To celebrate episode 100, uh, I'm actually up the time limit now, so from 10 minutes to 100 minutes. <laughs> so that should give me a bit of extra time, and uh, also it's going to be a starship, like a, a big spaceship. I've done a small spaceship, and it's a bit of a tribute to the very first episode in the series that we did a 10 minute spaceship. So let's blow that thing up, not the spaceship, but the, the time frame, and let's put 100 minutes on the clock and see what we can achieve in a 100 minute time frame. Uncut, unedited just pure out. So make sure you got something to drink. I hope you slept enough. And uh, everyone around the world, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Ready? Steady? Go when we're off. 100 minutes. This is going to be exciting. <laughs> I'm going to make a starship then. So I'll, uh, of course, I'll go for auto mirror. Uh, we have to do that. Symmetry is nice. Scale Y 40. That'll be 80 meters long since the default cube is one two by two by two. Uh, two by two by two. Uh, scale and scale x maybe i'll just bring this in manually i'm gonna work with a lot of basic shapes for this one and usually i create everything from one like giant block but i'm gonna split it up into separate geometries now that it's gonna be such a big ship i think that's gonna be a better approach i'll just keep this uh, core thing in the center there shift d to duplicate it scale y spin cycles on the washing machine again as usual because i don't record these at 4 a.m. anymore. Now it's actually on the Thursday that this is going to air. So the hundredth episode, cutting it close now. And it's going to be a long one. So hope I can edit in time. E to extrude this one, scale Z. I'm going to get some nice like battle starship type of shapes here, whatever those means. I don't know, <laughs> but I want to overlap a lot of geometry like this and E to extrude, of course, scale on the Z axis, maybe bring this back. And I think I'll 
longify, <laughs> lengthify, long, make them longer. And here are some like cargo things I want to do. Just to let your imagination think of stuff that could be useful on a starship. So cargo base, I can imagine, would be really good. If you want to travel uh, like between stars, you need maybe spaceships, drones, I don't know, sample. Oh, there's a light. Get rid of that. Okay, so shift D to duplicate this one. Let's make some uh, rear section here as well. I'll do work off a similar concept here, also a little bit bigger. E to extrude big boxy shapes in the beginning here. I'm gonna put some windows on here later on. Not 95, not 11 even. I haven't even tried installing that yet. E to extrude and scale, that should do. Quite happy with the rough shapes here. We're gonna have to put a command bridge, of course. No starship would be uh, properly a starship without a command bridge, so. And then here, I think I'll still do some scale, you know, the drill. S to scale, E to extrude. Bring that on in there, E to extrude, and make these taller. These like fuel cells or something maybe, E to extrude, S to scale. And bring that into, shift D to duplicate, scale, by bring that in. I'm gonna put some nice engines back here. Wait, I've got lights scattered everywhere. Get rid of that. E to extrude, S to scale, and here we go, some basic shapes for our starship to work with. And maybe we should bring this in, like this. It's a little bit warning of a Star Destroyer look there maybe, but never mind. Okay, and uh, I think I want to put some stuff in the center here as well. So I'll take this one again, L to select the link, Shift D to duplicate it, Scale Y. I'm going to fill in the center a little bit here. And maybe should we do Control R for a loop cut here? Bring this in and down a bit and in. No, not in. I'm going to put windows here again. So maybe a module like this would work. Living quarters or something. Let's actually put them here now. Control R loop cut and bring them up to there maybe. And then I'm going to do Alt select there, I to inset, Alt S to scale along normals, and bring it down to like a real black color. I think I want to change. Yeah, that's good. Go really dark on that. There we go. Tense, sitting here. 1.35 on the clock. Still got one hour and 35 minutes to go. It feels a little bit less stressful now, but we should make something uh, pretty cool out of this, I think. Okay, I had boundary on there, so I've got actually time to fix this, hopefully. So, I to inset. B for boundary, of course. And now, Alt S. And now we change that one to black. There we go. Now I'm gonna Alt select the, these edges, Shift and Alt select, so I make sure I select them again. Right click and subdivide, and I want to try to get them roughly equal. So now I have to think I've got to do these. I'm gonna make some uh, windows. If I can grab these edges, that's it. Right click, subdivide, and now we can select them all again. I'm gonna try to get them a little bit square looking if I can. Put loads of little uh, emissive small windows here. So right click again, subdivide. That's roughly square. Right click, subdivide. Let's bring that to maybe like this. F3, random deselect. Oh. Okay. To do it again. I'll alt click on these with shift to select all of them. F3, random, random select. Ah, oh, okay. Change to deselect here and up this. Maybe there, 0 0.8. And change that to an emissive color. Blue looks good on Starship. Too many windows are lit, I think. So I'm gonna do Control Z a few times, select random, go down to 0 0.9. And now change them. 
missing blue a bit better. And I th still think maybe they're a bit too big. Change this whole module in size a little bit. Alt S, no, scale. Bring it in to there. There we go. And <clears throat> I'll just keep working with some uh, think shapes for the ship to begin before I start adding more windows and stuff. We'll rough it out a little bit more even. Scale, scale Z. <coughs> Pardon me. E to extrude. And I want to put uh, some like a a drone bay or a fighter bay here. Let's do uh, Control R maybe. Control R, I to inset, E to extrude, and we'll go fully emissive in there as well. And maybe semi emissive here. There, that looks pretty bay like. And should we bevel these? Alt select that, Control B to bevel it. Get a nice shine there. And maybe we'll put some other stuff here. I don't know what this would be, but. It could be like E to extrude. <laughs> some just some shapes so it'll, the light bounces off a little bit nicer. Shift D duplicate E to extrude. E to extrude as the scale. There we go. And maybe they need a, some sort of a like a roof. <laughs> I don't know why they need that. But maybe you could close this thing. E to extrude. And GG. Move it. And L to select the length. I'm working a little bit off the uh, slants edges here, so it feels a bit weird. Should have picked something that was straight to the camera, I think, but never mind. That should work. And here, I feel like there should be something under here as well to support. I don't know, like it could be some waste storage or something, like where they empty waste fuel or something. I have no idea. <laughs> Let's just let the imagination go a little bit crazy there. Some boxy shapes anyway. And here, E to extrude, as to scale. And we should put some paneling on here, I think. So control R, mouse wheel up to there, control R, mouse wheel to there. And then GG to slide these, just to get some panel shapes here. GG. And I'm gonna select a bunch of these now, like this. And then do I for inset, 0.1, Alt S, 0.1. So that just brings those up to get some nice bubbles on there. I think I want to do here as well. I to inset 0.1, Alt S 0.1. And here a few more. Could do here as well. I to inset 0.1, Alt S 0.1. So there we go, some beginnings of some panels. And then I guess we could do I to inset and E to extrude down here as well. Put some dark areas. Here as well, I to inset, E to extrude, dark. I to inset a bit more, maybe. E to extrude. And dark. How am I doing? 130. Nice, plenty of time. Here, I to inset, E to extrude. Dark there as well. I'm gonna put some more windows here in a second as well. We need more windows. And um, something on top of here, I think. Control R, loop cut. Control R, loop cut. Control R loop cut. Here again, more panels, I think. I to inset 0 0.1, 0.1. Alt S I did as well for scaling along the normals here. Here, I to inset 0.1, Alt S 0.1. Should we bring that up a little bit more? I don't know why. Just felt like it. <laughs> uh, control R loop cut. Control R loop cut. Let's do some more loop cuts here. In fact, let's do, so we get an even amount here. Control R, I wanna do like this. Then I can listen to the spin cycle here in peace and quiet. Am I recording? Yeah, <laughs> good. E to extrude and go dark. Always good to go dark. And should we do something here? We should. And GG, I tin set 0 0.2 and Alt S 0. Three bigger panels. Also an alternative there. So there we got some uh, paneling 
And here it feels like I should put some more detail here as well. Height inset, alt E, extra long face normals, and G. Another panel of some sort there. And here maybe we'll do height inset, alt E, extra long face normals, big panorama window here. Nice. This is going to be a good view now for the people. This is like the dining area. Just decided. <laughs> Okay, doesn't really matter what it looks like, but as long as it looks good, or decent at least. Okay, and we should put uh, more window stuff now in a minute. I'll still just work off some rough shapes here. Uh, maybe some, uh, <clears throat> we said something about storage, didn't we? So I'll put some storage cells down here maybe. If I bring this in, take this, Shift D, duplicate, Here's going to be cargo holds. I don't know if anyone played Trade Wars back in the BBS days. I did. Loved it. And I'm going to make what I think cargo holds look like now. E to extrude. That was just a text game back then. But I had my imagination going anyway. So maybe a little bit smaller. And here, you can't really go wrong. So E to extrude, S to scale. E to extrude, S to scale. Bring that down. And here as well to extrude s to scale these are the cargo holds now Control r loop cut a few times always looks cool to get these little uh, like darker areas oh stripes ah if i can get it right alt s g and here as well maybe shift d duplicate e to extrude gg slide this one back and e to extrude s to scale GG and here we go. E I to inset, E to extrude, and go dark. And should we put like some sort of a light here as well? Maybe emissive red means it's full or something. Fully fully loaded. And here I feel as well that we should do period. No, comma normal. I always mix them up. Scale by E to extrude, S to scale on the X, scale it down, E to extrude, S to scale. In case they get detached, they can like, they have like little fins here or something. So that's a cargo hold. I think I need some more light on it. I to inset, Alt E to extrude, and again, red lantern. Don't want to collide with this or something. Maybe that's what it's for. So L to select the linked. L, L, and then go to side view. And as I mentioned before, repetition usually looks really good. But we need to attach this first. It's like free hanging in the air now. So I'll go to front view, rotate, G, attach it there. And then shift, let's see. How am I doing? There, comma, comma go global, shift D, Y axis to there, and then shift R, one, two, three, four, five cargo holds there, if that's where it is. Yeah, that'll work, I think. And then here I want to put some fuel cells or something, so I feel like they should be round for some reason. I'm going to put them here, shift D, duplicate, here's another trick, I use this all the time, right click, subdivide, circle from loop, to loop tools add-on, scale it down. And then you've got yourself a cylinder. You could have added a cylinder instead, but I like to do it this way. E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale, I to inset, and scale that one. I to inset, E to extrude, I to inset. And then here's a nifty trick, rotate. Okay, I'll do comma again, normal. So I get the, the normal from the face here. You remember when I tried to explain what a normal was? Rotate, Z, and there, get some spiral shapes going there e to extrude as the scale let's grab these faces e to extrude and pink for some reason i associate with some sort of a power so power i've got the pink power uh, no i definitely do not control r control r alt s and darker so th these could be like some sort of a fuel cell or something but i think should we have them 
Should we see them from the side? It's quite big, actually. I'll, I think I want to have them on a slant as well. So rotate, scale, what? Z. I'm going to make them a bit longer. And maybe rotate them so they can stick out like this. I think I'm going to bring this up, comma, global, so we can see these cells a little bit better. There. L to select the link again, rotate, side view, and I'm going to do the same thing here. Repetition is good. Repetition and symmetry, two most important things. Shift D to duplicate, Y axis, and then four of those. So now we've got the fuel cells there. They should come in handy. And uh, control R, loop cut, control R, loop cut. Some more panels here, GG and GG. So GG slides it along the edges, it's nice. You keep the flat surface then. 0 0.2, Alt S, 0 0.2. We'll make some bigger panels here. Oop. IT inset, 0 0.2, Alt S, 0 0.2. And I, 0 0.2, Alt S, 0 0.2. And here, I'm gonna go down instead again. IT inset, E to extrude, not through the fuel cells, G. There we go. And so we've got some cargo stuff now. The small cargo holds compared to the fuel cells, but I guess they need to travel far. Maybe I should do, these could be the small uh, cargo holds that you can detach. I'll make some bigger ones too, I think. Control S, I'll save this for now as well. Uh, okay, we've got some empty spare space here. We have to put the command bridge here somewhere. You can't have a spaceship without a nice command bridge thing. So let's do, uh, take this one, shift D, duplicate it. And I'm gonna do like a Star Destroyer type of command bridge for some reason, I always like that. In the back here, E to extrude, bring that in. Oh, I smell uh, toast or something. Or is it something burning? <laughs> I don't know, we'll find out soon. If the fire alarm goes, E to extrude, S to scale. And bring that up to there maybe pointer get some reflections going there and I think I want to keep it there could have made it higher but I don't <laughs> so let's do control R loop cut scale on the Z axis and I'm gonna put windows here as well so we'll do loop select these it inset again that was too much it inset alt test to scale long face normals Go dark, very dark. And I'm gonna put the windows here now. They're gonna be a little bit like thinner here, but I'll live with that, I think. To get the square ones as well, that's a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna do uh, right click subdivide. And it looks like I'll need some more sub. Oh, they, they can be wider windows there. That's okay, actually. So we'll do subdivide again, and we'll do. Maybe like this. It's difficult to know how, how granular you, you should go, but three interface, select F3, select random, and maybe it's difficult to know. Some more lights on here. G. There we go. I might have to get off uh, symmetry at some point later on. I think that's too many still. Maybe I'll do it inset again. Should we try this? G. That looks a bit better, I think. Yeah. Still feels like they're too big. So right click, subdivide. Right click, subdivide. Do one more then. Can I only do six cuts? Okay. F3. Select random. We'll go down a, a little bit more than fewer lights, apparently. I want that one too. <laughs> G. Uh, there. I think it might be because it's symmetry here. Need to g g get off the symmetry at some point, I think. Okay, maybe I'll do. I'll change this whole size down a bit. Scale Z. Not totally happy with uh, those lights, but never mind. I think it's the symmetry for a change that it works against this there, unfortunately. 
because it looks uh, like no one would light the <laughs> the windows in a symmetrical way unless you're like my name have my name who loves symmetry then you might go and switch them on in the right order okay so engines we need engines and I think I'm gonna put some big ones here in the back shift the another trick here similar to before but I'm gonna do right click subdivide let's go up to two circle loop tools add on super useful and see these things I want to get rid of them first scale y zero because I want to flatten it then I need to circle it again so make sure that it's rounded x and do limited dissolve it takes away the interior internal geometry so another way to create a cylinder faster than creating a cylinder using the cylinder tool <laughs> I think e to extrude s to scale e to extrude e to extrude s to scale e to extrude e to extrude s to scale and i to inset e to extrude and s to scale and that should be all right and control plus will just put like the blue emissive in here as well for now i think i'm gonna put some light sources here at some point too e to extrude s to scale and it's always nice to have an array like for a bigger ship like this i think we should have an array of engines so i think to support that array i think i should do shift d duplicate e to extrude and bring this down to there maybe scale y and bring that one back something to attach the engines to here l to select the linked and then do maybe we should put some more features on the engine here Control r Alt E, extrude long face normals, scale Y. We'll mark these with some dark stripes. And here as well, I think I want to do the back here a bit darker. Black. And then put some hatch of some sort here. E to extrude, go black there. And then here, I to inset, Alt E, extrude long face normals scale this one down again have no clue what this is but it could be useful to have on the engine i'm pretty sure it'll come in handy at some point Control r loop cut e to extrude that's the scale i should do and put some panels here i 0.1 alt s 0.1 we should do that for multiples i think sometimes again Sem repetition symmetry i 0.1 alt s 0.2 i'll do so that's the engine part Control s to save it in case i crash <laughs> so now i'm gonna put some more engines on here then we'll do look from the back maybe Ooh, pretty cool look there I like that shape so shift d to duplicate and shift d to duplicate can't go wrong with that many engines can you like it and remember our neighboring country as well the fins we have to have fins on this ship shift D to duplicate and need to keep the arrow dynamic here <laughs> maybe not so E to extrude S to scale I think unfortunately fins make it look like a smaller ship but again I refuse to make a ship without fins on you have to have someone that says only a few words every now and then. Control R. Control R. Alt S. And G. There we go. Maybe we can put... Should we integrate some sort of a light here? Feels like I should do. So we'll grab the tip here. And do I to inset. Alt S. Extra long face normals. And this tip light it up red i'm out of bounds here i'll select the linked front view i think we need to rotate this a little bit oh got a little bit too much there rotate g and shift the duplicate to there that's pretty good all right so i think the living quarters maybe feels like we should have some more of these things and i think this one i might have to make a little bit smaller probably gonna regret that no i shouldn't because I'm, I'm gonna regret it i'm pretty sure Control r Control r i to inset 
Alt S, extrude long face normals, just go darker there. All right, trying to get an even like amount of details across the whole ship, I think that's my goal. So I'm gonna do duplicate this one now. Again, repetition. I've got hair or something in my face. One minute and 13, this is gonna be plenty of time. Wow, incredible amount of time. Shift D to duplicate. And should we put it over here? Well, I'll have to randomize the windows again in that case. Scale. Okay. Pardon me, it's like super itchy face was amazing. I have to fly the camera a bit to the side, I think. Unsure that if I should have that on there, I can uh, always decide to terminate it at some point. Uh, I think I'll change the windows just in case though. So I'll alt select these. Okay, I accidentally deselected a few there, but never mind. F3. And then uh, actually, I'll do this first. Get everything to the black here. Scale zero. And then now we'll do select, deselect random again. Just change the seed to make sure. G and light blue. At least it's different windows there now. So there we go. And I feel like I should maybe offset the height. There. I'm a bit unsure that if it looks just too copied. I think it does. <laughs> I guess it was copied, so. In all fairness, I'll put it there for now. Should I bring it apart to there? Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll make it wider here. Bring it down and bring this down. <laughs> no, I speak like a moron. Speak like a moron sometimes. No comments, actually. And uh, here I'm gonna do Shift D to duplicate these, bring those in, scale them. Sc this is gonna explain why there are no windows there. And bring that down to there. Alt D, extra long face normals. This is some sort of a core shield generator. No, it's not. I don't know what it is. Looks like uh, I'm pretty sure I'll figure out something here. And on this one, I think I want to put some bigger light here as well. This again could be like the, like, um, I don't know, a luxury. I always keep a, thinking of like uh, eating areas for some reason. <laughs> Maybe I'm hungry. So GG. No, okay, apparently not. I'll just slide it down manually to there. Anyway, a big lit area. Control R. And. When I get these angles, sometimes I feel like I want to do this. I to inset, Alt S to extrude, and Control R, Alt S to extrude. Okay, I to inset, Alt S to extrude down. Oh no, just S. Go dark. There, some more, more shapes there. So that's a, a nice place to eat. Because that's what you do, apparently, in the big areas. We've got one here as well, where you can eat. <laughs> okay, I need... It's just one drone bay here. Or whatever that is. So I think we should have something here as well. I to inset. Okay, control R first, because I need a loop cut there. I to inset. E to extrude. And... Okay, I wanted to have dark there instead, apparently. I don't know why, but I do. And this is lacking some detail, and the front, so we have to work a little bit off these things. And underneath, of course. Can probably put some lights on here as well. I wanna, okay, first, first thing, I'm gonna redeem myself. I need to put the bigger cargo base here. So grab this one, maybe out there, yeah. Shift D, duplicate, bring it down. So bigger ones now, don't go like tiny. If you're gonna do it, go bigger. 
L scale Y. And here, now we're, now we're talking, these will store some, some items. Okay, a little bit smaller. Okay, bring them to that sort of shape. And then, okay, what should we do them? I'm, I'm uh, struggling here to think how to shape these. So let's not struggle. Control R, loop cut, even amount of times. IT inset, Alt S, extra long face normals. Control R, IT inset, E to extrude. These are like big container type things. And select these, I to inset those, Alt S to extrude long face normals. These, like when they detach, they could even stand down or something. Maybe that's what it could be. So I could actually make some hatches here for some like internal thrusters or something. I to inset, E to extrude, S to scale. Okay, I'll do comma and do, okay, I always do this wrong. <laughs> Period, individual origins, S to I to inset. Okay, I wanted to do, let's redo that one and scale it. I to inset, E to extrude. I don't know if I should do like this straight away. Yeah, I think so. Uh, these could be lit up as thrusters if necessary, if they need to like land. Could also double as, as like an invasion module, I think. If you need to like land some troops there. And here, maybe we should put like an internal rim of lightness or light. G. Emissive. Really emissive blue there. I like the light blues and stuff. There we go. And here, some life support system in case they do use for, for invasion. So E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale. And here we need some individual I to inset, E to extrude. Now we're talking. Now this is like a cargo module or something. L to select the linked. And again, it wouldn't be properly done without repetition. So let's go from the side. I'll send it in slightly into the there. Shift D, Y, and oh, we only fitted the. Uh, okay, let's only fit three then. Three is good. Uh, should we try to fit one on the top here? Do we get away with that? Shift D, rotate, Y, 180. I don't think we'll get away with this. Rotate, G. Rotate. What? What's uh, this thing? Okay. Oh yeah, because I've got individual. Let's get rid of that one then. I got away with that. I think. L. Should we put them in the center here? Rotate. Shift D. Duplicate. For now, let's fit two there, just because it adds geometry. We can always replace those with something later on if necessary. Okay, here it's looking, again, we have to avoid the places where it looks empty like this, or just like plain edges, so... I think I want to put more windows in the front here. Let's bring that one forward. Yeah, we need some luxury... I don't know if we're going to put any dining areas here, but we'll put Control R. Control R to there. Maybe we can even fit some down there at some point, but let's try it. I to inset twice so we don't get individual. Okay, that didn't work. I to inset. Don't like how that goes like that, so let's do this instead. Right click, subdivide two times. Yep. GG and gg gg there we go select these right click subdivide roughly square so now we can subdivide again and do many more times many 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 more times there we go f3 or three first f3 random select deselect about that oh i've done some some wrong i always do this wrong and you want to do this first anyway Trust me, I to insert again, 
all tests extrude long phase normals in. Don't want to extrude it after you've done the subdivision and stuff. So. There we go. And now I'm going to do subdivide and then subdivide. Let's go up to, what was it? Five or six. There we go. Three random deselect. And let's just change the seed just in case. Not that it would matter because it's a different amount and stuff anyway. And shiny blue. You can never go wrong with shiny blue. E to extrude. That's the scale. And we're starting to get detail all over the ship here. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, it's not Star Wars. I have to remember. So shift D to duplicate, scale, E to extrude. It was lacking detail here, if anyone's wondering. Shift D, but now it's not lacking detail. And remember, have I mentioned that repetition looks good? Check that out. Three of them. Looks really good. Three is good. How am I doing? One hour and two minutes remaining. What am I going to do with all that time? Ah, I'm going to reach a level of uh, detail there within that time frame, but never mind. I guess we could put a dining area here. Big blue window. Now we'll figure stuff out to do. Here, for example, control R. We need, pan oh, we need to put like satellite dishes, uh, food dishes, all sorts of cool stuff. Control R. I was running my Forrest Gump impression out of the blue. I 0.2, Alt S 0.2. I'm doing bigger panels here now for some reason, because they need to be more visible. GG, GG, and Control R need to put smaller panels here. GG. And that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to put it so I got the angle on this one. GG. There we go. I 0.2, Alt S 0.2. I can do multiples at the same time, remember? I apparently don't remember. Alt S 0.2. There we go. Pretty good. And should we. Should we I to inset? B for boundary inset. What's happened there? Oh, it's because I've got individual or something. Oh, no, I'm not even at the split here. So let's grab those then. I to inset, E to extrude, and dark. Mix up some dark and light areas there. Antennas and stuff is going to be fun to put on now. I think. Should we put a dining area here? <laughs> Probably not. Let's do it. I to inset. Someone's going to eat here by the fuel cells. If this thing blows up, this is the last place I'd want to be. Because these are like anti-matter anti fuel cells. And here's the dining area for the engineers. So good luck with that if you get hit by like some rocket fire or something. And there you go, guys. Enjoy your meal. Don't mind the explosions if those happen. Should we have some living quarters down here for them as well? This is where they live. I'm so kind. I to inset. Alt test to scale down to there and then now we'll do i'm gonna try it without doing that one even though that one's of longer i'm gonna regret it aren't i yeah i'm gonna regret it so alt s it's uh, i just want to try to avoid where they don't go squarish so subdivide that one once first and now we can do it and oh, of course go black Tinted uh, windows are uh, like where it's like around. Right click, subdivide, bring it up there, and then F3, random deselect. Let's change the seed just for fun again. Or we can actually check a seed that we actually like then. Why don't we do that for a change? G, and there you go. Living down there. So if you crash into the ground, you're screwed because then. You live down here. If the ship explodes, you're screwed because the fuel cells are there. I'm noticing uh, a problem here. We don't really want that. It looks stupid when it's attached like this. And I've got uh, clipping on, so I'll have to go clipping off here. 
and bring that in. That's it. Should we put some... Uh, that gave me an idea to put some stuff here. Maybe like this. I to inset. E to extrude. And again, windows there. How about that? That could be cool. Like if you're flying over a planet's surface, at least they can, uh, they can like the, the engineers there, they can actually look through these. And first they'll see each other. Left wing versus right wing will see each other here. They'll wait, I'm pretty sure. This one need here's uh, to empty. So it's not gonna be empty for long. I to inset and Alt S maybe. And then I to inset again and E to extrude and go dark and then should we do something here i think we should maybe we'll do one of these need to extrude pink why though why would it be like that you always have to know why there has to be a reason g no too big let's make them a little bit smaller then i to inset and okay should we put engineer windows here as well yeah blue looks good still we we, we don't want to mix up the fuel that like that's literally the fuel fuel cell stuff Right, we need com comms, we need communications and stuff, so... And cannons, of course. I've got 56 minutes, how can I have so much time? It feels insane. And we've got a hole underneath there to fill up too, though, I guess. So... Uh, should we do... Should we bring the command bridge up a little bit first? Yeah, I think so. Th they don't want to be, uh, like, living or, like, hanging out down here by the... By the workers, I don't think. So control R, loop cut, control R, I to inset. I don't know why I'm doing it like that. I could have done it differently, but never mind. G and I think I just want some I'll figure out some details here in a minute, I think. But you can always if I do shift D to uh, like get new geometry. And don't get too many loop cuts and stuff e to extrude then you can always like just l and delete it if you want if you don't want to keep it so it's quite nice to have it separate sometimes plus it just scales that <laughs> i don't know what, I, what i'm talking about again e to extrude has to scale but that could work should put some pipes here some somewhere too that'll be fun long plumbing areas should we put some panels here too I to inset 0 0.2, Alt S 0 0.3, bigger panels. Always works. I to inset. Oop. I to inset. And E to extrude. And dark. So if it goes in, make it darker. Like It's like a fake ambient occlusion type of thing there. There we, we can also put some light sources around this ship later on. That'll look good. Again, looking for areas which lack the detail. So this one's lacking the detail. Control R, I have to find this actual one there. Okay, and I did it wrong anyway. Control R. I can't put stressful music through this whole thing, can I? <laughs> Should I put really panicky music through the whole video? I wonder. GG. And I, 0.2, Alt S, 0.2. I 0 0.2, Alt S 0 0.2. Just looking where it look pretty cool with panels, I guess. I 0 0.2, Alt S 0 0.2. Should we do one more panel here? I 0 0.2, 0 0.2. I tend to do my panels like this a lot now. A lot. I like it a lot. That was another one from uh, Dumb and Dumber. Uh, I 0 0.2 and Alt S 0 0.2. That's how I do my panels. Really like that method. And here we'll do uh, panels. Yeah, why not? I 0 0.2, Alt S 0 0.2, and we'll indent here instead. I to inset, E to extrude, 
and go dark where you go in where it goes in it goes dark Ooh. feels like this should come in and land somewhere brutal okay this one should we go out of the ordinary and bevel that one a bit I think so I'm gonna do maybe a bevel modifier at some point anyway I think that would be a better option to do those panels bigger there we go okay so we've got some living quarters we've got some command bridges again I've been saying about satellite dishes now it's time to put them on let's put a few here and then we'll put the cannons out there and we'll put a few up here as well but I'll sneak them down here first just to make sure shift D duplicate again right click subdivide circle and X and do limited dissolve and I to inset. What's going on? I to inset. Why is it not insetting? I to inset. It's refusing. Okay. I to inset. I to inset again. Okay, what have I done? I've done something mysteriously bad here, apparently. Because inset is not working e to extrude works i to inset hello no 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 boundary no oh what's going on never mind comma normal bring that on down on the normal i to inset i don't know why it wasn't working i to inset it's working now so that's good. Um, that should do, actually. We'll do... I think I'll bring these up slightly. So. I'll select the linked. And let's just do all the extra long phase normals. So there. Extrude the center here. I to, or E to extrude, S to scale. E to extrude, and S to scale. E to extrude. We'll put like a red... Uh, Thing here. Don't know why it would be red. Communications is red. Red alert. Control plus and a red like light there. There we go. It needs to be deeper red. There we go. But emissive cool. Oh, of course. Okay. So L to select the linked, rotate, we'll put them uh, here, I think. That gives us something to do with this area. And I think I'm gonna do, like, let's select every other here. And do E to extrude, S to scale, comma, no, okay, period, do medium, I always do that wrong. E to extrude, and what well, should do a thicker thing in the center here as well. Maybe I'll take this whole thing. Shift D to duplicate, scale, E to extrude. E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude. So we'll just make something like that. That'll work. L to select linked. Rotate Z, face them forward a bit. Rotate Z again. And I think I need to make these a bit longer. So we'll do, see if I can grab those. Grab that. Period. No, I always do it wrong. Comma. Normal. I can slide that one back to there. It just goes into there, so that'll be fine. L to select linked. L to select linked. Period. No, I got it wrong again. Comma. Global. Shift D. Y. So there we go. Some um, some dishes there. Only two for now. Maybe we can put the big one at the top here. Should we try Shift D? Oop. Scale up. And I'll put some sort of a communications thing here. So shift D, E to extrude, scale. And again, we don't want to have it so that it's got less geometry angles than anything else. Avoid big areas of the just flatness. I to inset. E to extrude, go 
go dark there because we went in. And here, inset all the extra long face normals. Should we go red emissive? No, should we go blue emissive? No, it's too bright. We don't want it so bright up there. Uh, I to set 0 0.2, Alt S 0 0.2. And some antennas here could do. Let's just grab any face, Shift D, duplicate. I'll do circle to make it square. Another trick there. When it's only four corners. Perfectly square circle. Scale. E to extrude. But we'll go straight up instead. S to scale. E to extrude. But straight up. Okay, E to extrude. Right click to snap it. And S to scale. And I think I should put some more antennas and stuff here. So I'll do Control R. We'll put some paneling up here first. GG. And here. Iron inset to 0 0.2. Alt S 0 0.2. Inset 0 0.2. Alt S 0 0.2. And inset 0 0.2. Alt S 0 0.2. So that's our paneling there. Neat. Shift D, duplicate. Offset it a bit. Bring it down. E to extrude. Bring that on into there. GG. Slide this one and put some more antennas here. Shift D. We can have antennas that aren't perfectly uh, square as well. I think that look fine. So E to extrude. S to scale. E to extrude. S to scale. E to extrude. Right click and then make sure that I go straight up. You don't want antennas poking sideways, I don't think. So that's why I'm not extruding up all the way before I right click and just S to scale. Put some red tips on these antennas. Again, so no uh, like enemy fighters fly into them. Control R. Oh, Control R. Item set. Alt E, extra long face normals, scale, Z, control. There's so many ways to do that. Well, I did it that way. I did it my way. There we go. Some lights on the antennas there. Okay, cannons. We need cannons. And I think there's... I can see two good areas for cannons. Can you? Where would you put them? That's right. I'd put them here and here. But first, I'd itch my face. So, Shift D to duplicate. And here, I'm going to put some cannons now. Right click, subdivide circle i guess and i think i'll flatten these first so i'll do scale z zero to make it flat and then circle again to make sure that they're round now top view yeah that's good I, for some reason i don't really like the idea of round cannons turrets want them wider but let's start with the round i guess e to extrude e to extrude S to scale and then here I think we'll do okay I think I'll do control R control R and here is what I meant that I don't want round roundness because I want these to be a little bit wider so we'll do select these try to get all of them There we go. Scale Y. Scale Y. Select those. Scale X. And maybe I'm happier now. Am I? Not yet. These are too pointy. Scale Y. Okay, that feels better for some reason. But I think I'll feel even happier now, yeah. So, yeah. Better shape, I think. Uh, bring those up, and then now we need to put the like the cannons in here. Scale Y, and these are way too skinny still. Maybe I'll do bring that down. That's better. E to extrude, S to scale, e to extrude. I'll just go down to there, I think. And then here. I don't know why I'm going to do this, but I'll do E to extrude here and S to scale, but 
period, individual origins as the scale, scale on the y-axis. There we go. And then here, I'm gonna do uh, like this: i to inset all the extra long face normals. Now we're talking scale. Now I'm happier with the shapes here, I think. But we need two cannons, of course, so they won't really fit now. Because we want big cannons. So I'm going to do control plus scale y and then here scale y oh so something scale y we need to leave some room here scale okay comma we need medium point again scale y and here now let's make room for the cannons We'll get these two I to inset and E to extrude. That looks pretty mean. Looks like Bat Batman or maybe a pair of spectacles or something. I don't know. Am I still recording? Yeah. Scale X zero and go dark in there. Scale zero pitch black. But it's a reflective, so it's not going to be really that black. And I'm going to keep this shape for the actual barrels as well. So Shift D, duplicate, and again, comma, no, okay, period, individual origins, scale, E to extrude, and because it doesn't matter that the barrels aren't round or something, this is like some sort of a railgun thing. So that, that I'm going to make these cannons a little bit smaller as well, I think. And um, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude. And e to extrude, S to scale, e to extrude. I'm gonna make them smaller, like I said. So. E to extrude, and I to inset, and e to extrude. There we go. So these would be way too big, of course. I think. <laughs> so let's put some stripes on them first. Another thing I like to do. Okay, should be even amount. So Control R, like six then these should be all right to do every other i to inset alt s to scale and should we go for emissive here we had purple for like fuel cells that could look good for weaponry too maybe i think oh i've only done one now i should have done a mirror modifier on this shouldn't i i'm still working in the same object here so that's a bit stupid maybe I think I'll do scale Y, make them a little bit skinnier. And here, it needs to be some sort of a probe here, I think. I'm debating whether I should split this out as my first object. I think I'll do P to split selection. Alt select there, Shift S, cursor to selected. And then we'll do right click on this, set origin to a 3D cursor. Uh, before that, I need to take off the mirror modifier. Oh no, I don't want to actually take away mirror modifier because I want it symmetry on the both sides. So let's cancel this out. Because I want the cannons on this side. I don't want to have it as a separate object now, I remember. So I'll do Shift D to duplicate this one. We'll just wing this one instead. So I'll bring it to there. Scale Y minus one. And then remember, if I go into solid now, this one will be inverted. So Alt N recalculate outside if you don't i just i hope i don't have any other inverted geometry stuff here no Z, i like to model now a little bit in the rendered view here it's pretty cool need to roughly make sure that it's in the same space so there i'm not too picky and l l l and the scale i think we're going to make it smaller now comma okay period medium point scale sorry guys it's gonna be smaller cannons I think there and the probe thing we need here so I to inset all the extra long face normals scale control these are should we put I, I shouldn't do too many colors 
So let's make it purple as well, or pink. So weapon and fuel pink, living quarters and base and stuff blue. Uh, red is like alarms, lanterns, things like that. But I do want to put something here. Item set. Alti, extra long face normals. Again, is it too many lights on these things now? Probably. So let's... Uh, I'll do this black as if it's like some uh, glass instead. There we go. L to select linked. L, L. I think that should be alright. And I'll raise something up here for these, I think, and make them flatter, shall I? No. That's... I've got too much time on my hand, I'm thinking too much. Let's see what this looks like. Alti, extrude long face normals, comma, no, period, <laughs> individual origins, scale, bring that down, and L, L, L. Now let's just slap them down here now. We've uh, done this long enough now. But the thing is, I don't really want them point, period, medium point. I don't want them pointing down or anything. If anything, they should be pointing like up a little bit. But flat is probably best. So I'm going to do here. I'm going to put like a platform for them. Scale Z zero. Bring it down to there. E to extrude. E to extrude. S to scale. And then we'll just move this whole platform thing. To here. And. L. 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 We'll face them forward a little bit, I think. And now I think, you know, for the first time, I think I might. They look too detailed, unfortunately. I want to set them in so they don't stick out of the ship. L, L, L. Bring it to there. Do you know what? I'm just going to. I'll do Shift D to duplicate it. P to separate the selection. In case I need this later on, I'll just hide it. But I'm going to rotate these now, so I'll actually rotate the geometry. So if I wanted to bring it back now into like non-rotated, then that would suck. So a few cannons there, and then a few turrets here, maybe in the front. Okay, I'm breaking the law, <laughs> breaking the law a little bit here, because I'm going more detailed on the cannons. It feels like than I am on anything else. So scale zero. I'm gonna cr create a little platform again for these. Scale Y, flatten it. So here we go. L scale Z. Bring it down to there. Scale Z. Yeah, I'll bevel this edge. Control B. Okay, no, I'll just E to extrude S to scale instead. Scale X. And then now let's copy this. L L L G and Shift D. There we go. I don't know, maybe too pink, too much lights, I don't know. Starting to get a little bit crowded on this ship now. Let's put some stuff in the front here. Iron scoop, whatever that is. Height inset. I'm starting to sit weird on the chair now. Like, I'm not used to sitting here for this long. Well, I am. I sit here all the time. But I'll do E to extrude, S to scale. And then height inset. Oh, boundary. Item set B for boundary, in case you didn't spot it there. Don't know why I shouted that. E to extrude. In. 
Okay, not that much apparently, because I've got some other geometry there. Scale. Go black there. And then I'm going to put some, like, protruding antennas. Protruding antennas here. But first, I think I want to do... Oop. Disable the lights by mistake. Select, select. Okay, we'll put something... Oh, this looks pretty cool here. Like a tunnel. Very dark here, but let's check it out. Yeah. Battle Star Galactica. Battleship. I don't like uh, the way this one is uh, like this. E to extrude as the scale. This is the only engine that you see from the front there. So, oh, why am I doing like here? But now I just realized that I, for some weird, unexplainable reason, reason I want to scale this one or bring it into there and E to extrude that one and scale it down. I don't know why. It just felt like it should be some sort of a panel. It breaks all the rules here. But it's like an extra support or something. Like it, it breaks probably all principles. Well, Shift D, Scale Z, or Scale X, Zero, Scale, Scale Y, E to extrude. I don't know what I'm doing right now. E to extrude S to scale. It felt like I should have some sort of a support there for that engine. That looks stupid. Scale. Scale. You can also put massive hoses and stuff on. I'll keep this for now, but this is definitely room to delete. Like if if it makes no sense. What am I doing here? Okay. I'll just keep it for now, but I don't know why. Feels it's wrong. Shouldn't have that, but never mind. I was up here doing stuff. Oh yeah, I wanted to put some uh, antennas probably here. Let's grab uh, that face, shift the... I think this one's got extra yeah, vertices there. You can do X and limited dissolve there. That takes that away. Um, three back. Scale, scale, Y, zero. And then now we'll just do one big antenna here. E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale. E to extrude, S to scale. Control R, loop cut. All right, I want these to be taller for some reason. Or then what? Yeah, I don't know why. And then some fins on here again. Uh, e to extrude, S to scale. Scale Z, E to extrude, S to scale. There we go. And here, maybe a panel, another panel. Control R, Control R, GG. ITN set 0.2, Alt S 0.2. There we go. This is looking uh, boring. This edge here in particular is disturbing me very much. Very, very much. Let's get rid of it. Somehow, Shift D, Scale, bring that in. E to extrude. It's disturbing me less now. E to extrude, S to scale. That's better. It was really disturbing me. Okay. So we've got cannons. We've got command bridge. We got. We haven't uh, given any love to the underneath here. And we should. So we can start by doing some bigger panels here. E to extrude, S to scale. Feels. We should also put some lights so we can actually see what's going on here. Let's do solid first so we can see. And here, I think I'm just going to work with the rough shapes here. Scale, G, black. And here I would have... Uh, before actually I do this. Let's control Z out of this, because for some reason, right here I want some cooler shaped, like, 
GG. GG. I don't know why I'm like speaking half sentences again, but I can see myself having here like some big opening eye to inset. Check this out. I think I'm onto something. Let's do subdivide. What am I trying to do here? Subdivide. And let's do control shift selected there. E to extrude. This is what I'm trying to do. E to extrude. And let's do rendered again so we can see the lights. And here I want to put like some doors. Um, I should have done this differently, but it's okay. I th oh yeah, I think I want to do this. Control R, Control R. I actually want to make like a cavity thing here. Thinner doors. Control R, Control R. Alt S. Okay, sc scale on the y-axis only. I want like doors here. And we could do... No, we couldn't. Okay, I'm gonna stick a light source here. No. Shift A, light. Point light. Let's bump it up to like, how am I doing for time? 26 minutes to go. Uh, to 3,000 watts. Sounds small. Okay, let's bump it up to 30,000 there. Let's go big. I wanted to get it to a feeling where it was like actually open in here. Without it being really open. Like just faking it a little bit. So you get the light there maybe. Blue light. wanted the lights to cast like that. That's pretty good. I'll just keep one light, I think. I think I like the look of that, roughly. Looks like some sort of a big door opening there. Now we can put some panels here. I 0.2, Alt S 0.3. We'll do bigger, even bigger panels here. I 0.2, Alt S 0.3. I 0 0.2, Alt S 0 0.3. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, nearly looks like a. I should have put like some uh, like light rays there as well. Like from. It looks like it's gonna pick something up. Abduct something. Someone. Random subscriber might get abducted by this one. Hands up. Any volunteers? E to extrude. Should we. Feels like uh, this needs a dining area. Two. There. Too big, right? Control plus. Scale it down. Better. And shift D. Here we need something else. But just more detail. Again, make sure that you have about the an equal amount of detail across the whole ship. You can have some bigger panel areas like this. But again, you don't want to, like here, for example, it's sticking out that, well, it's literally not sticking out. That's why I want to do something there. Scale, I'm just borrowing any random face. Scale. And I, here I want to do the repetition thing again, I think. So I'm going to bring that down, scale Z, E to extrude, S to scale, bring that down, L. I'm gonna flatten it even more, bring it up to there, bring it into there. And now let's do again repetition looks usually really good. So maybe I'll even keep it out to there. And then go shift D. I'm gonna wing it a little bit now. So shift D to there. And then shift R three times. Same size, same distance. It's pretty good. It's like a cooling, cooling thing or something. Probably not. It could be. And 
Okay, so what more? We've got some drone bay down here. It looks a bit empty too. So can do. I, th I think I want to start putting some light sources here with the time that I've got left there. So shift A. Oh, I have to duplicate this. Uh, the problem with the lights is it that they don't mirror. Ooh, I like that. There we go. Um, let's see. So control seven. Now I need to do shift D and duplicate this light source because I don't have mirror modifier on the light sources there. That looks like a face. Looks like Darth Vader. No, it doesn't. <laughs> doesn't look like Darth Vader at all. But again, I wanted to put some lights maybe here. So let's just copy this light. And go Shift D, duplicate. And put some light sources so we light up the underneath of the ship here. We could put them where the windows are, I guess. Would that work? So it looks like the windows are lighting up. That'd be so bright in there. I think everyone needs to go walk around with sunglasses. No, that doesn't work. So let's do an area light here instead. Let's try that. <clears throat> Rotate Y 180. See what we can do here. Maybe we'll put them up here somewhere by the engines. It's the underneath really that I want to light up a little bit on the ship because there's doesn't have anything so makes no sense to have like lights here like this uh, so let's scale it maybe scale it on the y-axis scale it on the x it down. It's just trying to fake something here so you can actually see something maybe not 30,000 watts maybe more like 300 Scale X. You shouldn't really need to do this like that. Just thought it'd be fun if you could actually see a little bit more there. Let's go light the hole underneath up a little bit more like this. Shift D. Maybe I'll do one big one. Scale X. Since I don't have any lights here. Scale Y. I'm like just flapping in the dark now, whatever that means. Let's go 3000 watts on this thing. I know it's fake, but I think I'll, I'll just leave it like that for now so you can actually see the underneath. It's like as if these are lighting up, it's fake lighting. That should work. Whoa. It's too bright, actually. I just wanted to have a little bit. Maybe a thousand just to get a hint of the features there maybe we could figure something better out with this uh, at some point i'm pretty sure but scale y i'll do both of these scale y bring back oh. period no comma global okay that's good okay i'm i'm noticing that you've been screaming probably about the whole time here. What's going on with this area here? It's like super flat. I to inset. I've got the inset thing again. I to inset. What's going on? All right, it's because I'm too far away from the center. B boundary. And then E to extrude. That's the scale. And dark. We should put a bevel modifier on this uh, at some point too. But what am I going to do now? It's like 20 minutes to go. And I feel quite finished. So we've got cannons. We've got antennas. Communications. Because if I start adding more detail, the problem is that then uh, the whole ship will need more detail everywhere. So it's not necessarily a good thing. Maybe I'll put something here then. Shift D. E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale. Nope, shift D, scale, E to extrude, S to scale on the Z axis. There. Just clutching in the dark now, literally, because it is quite dark. We, we could uh, render it as well with uh, the cavity overlay, of course. 
And we could put some lights. So should I put some light sources by the engines here, maybe? Let's try that. Shift D and slap it, slap it there. That that looks better. So Shift D, duplicate. Let's do Control One, G, and that's good, I guess. So we'll do. Shift D to duplicate. This is going to be a manual process. Shift D. And Shift D. Shift D. For a perfectionist, it's quite weird that I'm actually allowing myself to just place this manually like that. So, that's it. You don't really see the light from here because in uh, EV it's like a little bit bad that way. It just goes pop. The blur comes. The bloom comes late. Oh, never mind. Late bloomer. Okay, it, should we try to stick some lights in this? I like the fact that it's like a tunnel here. Um, we could go with the flow and uh, put some dining areas here, possibly. And by dining areas, of course, I just mean like big windows. And then we could light this tunnel up. So well, let's try it. I to inset, E to extrude. And dining area. There's more dining area than living quarters. And now to go with that, of course, we have to light it up. So I'll put some point lights in there too. Shift D, duplicate roughly to the center. Bring it up to there. And it's probably too strong. So let's bring it down to 3000. And I could go with area lights here maybe. Scale, scale Y, scale X. There, so there's one, I'm just faking it now. Shift D, duplicating this one. Let's see where the next one should go, in here somewhere. Can I grab that green axis somehow? Where is the green axis? Ah, I'm lost in space. Shift D, duplicate, and um, bring it to there. All right, way too bright. Maybe 300. That could do. So now you sort of see the tunnel, I guess. Should we try a point light instead? Too sharp. That's better. It nearly looks like the windows are reflecting it there. So. All right. Symmetry. Uh, one thing you could do is actually make a ship like this that's not symmetry, because at this size, I think it look they look pretty cool as well. If you have like wings on it that aren't really s symmetrical and stuff, so that would actually work. Here I see big flat surface. Mm, that's a no go. We can fix that easily. We'll do Shift D duplicate that whole thing. Oh no, I won't take that. Shift D duplicate. Scale. Okay, no. I'll do. Uh... Okay, what should I do? I'll do I to inset this thing. E to extrude. Snap it back, because I want like the L to select the linked, because I've got these extra things, you know, flaps that I don't want. So delete face. I only did the, this procedure to get like that shape. Because now we can do, grab those again, bring it into there, make some weird planes here. Good for the reflection, I guess. And I nearly started to sing uh, Pocahontas there with the reflections, but I didn't. So you should be happy. <laughs> I think my kids are happy that I didn't anyway, because I can't sing it. I don't even know the lyrics, so. So, G. Okay. Some weird plane. Pain, plane. Plane of pain. Max pain, scale. Scale Z. Again, breaking up just these areas here. Don't allow yourself to have areas that are big and flat. Like this one. Another one. So let's do something similar here. Shift D, duplicate, scale, bring it in to there. 
E to extrude. Again, just to get rid of those big areas. E to extrude and dark. And this looks weird, like the angle there looks weird, so I'm going to manually just tweak this. Even here, like it's even these surfaces are not correct. So I to insert alt or 0 0.2, alt s 0 0.2. Yeah, a panel there too. That's it. Here's one. I 0 0.1 or 0 0.2, alt s 0 0.2. And this one's sticking down, so I'll do I to inset, E to extrude. S to scale and go dark there. Why is it green? I don't have anything green. Come on. Okay, I do have green. Because <laughs> I put it on green. That's it. Uh, should we put some hoses here? I think so. We've got 12 minutes to go. I'm going to put some giant hoses here now. And I'm going to just like fake those two. So, as if they're going to the engine here from the... That would make no sense at all why you'd have like exposed hoses here, but it could be. Could be fun. I haven't seen that on any ships before, so... Scale it down. Bring that in. And I'm just gonna like literally control right click to ex extrude these things. So it, it's probably gonna look hideous. Scale it down a little bit to there. There we go. Now we'll, let's just go crazier. I'm gonna see through here. I'm starting to get a few polygons here. Okay, this was tricky. So I'm trying to get like they're hanging. Okay, I have no idea where it's going over. That's all right, I think. So I just thought they'd look cool with some more organic looking shape here. Black hose. Shift D. Oh, okay, I'll do it manually, I think. I'll, I'll switch from autopilot again here now, and we'll do another manual hose, I think. I'm going to do there. Shift D, duplicate, circle. Okay, right click first. Subdivide, circle. I can't even put stressful music on now because I don't even know what more to model here. So, but I could put stressful music because I have to go and meet up my son in a minute. So, I uh, need to make sure that I get some packed lunch going. So, scale, control, right click, control, right click. I'll just bring this one up to here. Like, it makes no sense that you'd have like big exposed fuel hoses like this. So, I like to make stuff that doesn't make sense. Well, I, I want to have a reason for stuff. Uh, so I always come up with weird stuff what they what they're like good for But it makes no sense like in terms of Like what do you call it physics or something or engineering? So L L let's get Zero and G black there And then here maybe with this goes in Again, I see a big area here. Even if it's hidden a lot of it, I know that it's there. So, scale. And where this connection goes in, we could have something. I'll select the linked. Shift D, nine minutes to go. Scale, scale X. And E to extrude. E to extrude S to scale. All right, now maybe I'll try to bevel modify. What's this big thing here? GG, slide that one in. I want to see that. I hope I didn't wreck anything else now. And here, I guess for this particular engine, let's do scale, bring it, E to extrude, S to scale, S to scale on the Z axis. And put a light here, a red lantern on the tip. Like we've done on these, maybe. Same method here. Select all of those. Okay, I need to loop cut here. And then I to inset. Alt S, make it a little bit smaller. And then put like a red light there. 
This is breaking my rule as well. So I'll shift D to duplicate scale Z. Okay. Hello. Alt select linked three. Bring that in. E to extrude as scale. Some sort of a panel there too. I'm going to make it just go under there though. Scale Z. That's it. Okay, so I don't think I actually need to put the bevel modifier on, but I could try it at least. So um, let's just see what happens. I don't think it'll work. The reason why it won't work is because it's got so many details that even if I slide this, uh, it won't bevel it. And the reason why that is, it's because this uh, geometry thing here, it's got clamp override. So I could disable this one and it, it does work. Oops, it works a bit too much. 0 0.05. So you get all these nice bevels now to all the panels and stuff. Uh, the problem, I think, with it is that it's probably overlapping some geometry in some places, like where it's... can't see anywhere now, but where it's like little corners like this could be dangerous to use it on. But it, overall, it, it does look pretty good when you bevel all the... because check this out. Like, this is with... Uh, without it, and with it. With, without. With, without. So everything turns out, but I think unfortunately it breaks the geometry. You will probably find loads of places like this where it starts to break up. But for rendering, maybe the, the broken parts don't really matter that much. So you could keep the bevel modifier on if you wanted. Uh, there's also ways to do so that it only bevels some edges. Uh, you could use it by, um, like here, the limits instead of angle, you could do it by vertex groups and stuff. I guess for if we're going to render this, uh, we could keep it like that. All right, six minutes to go, and I feel pretty finished here. Questions? Maybe I'll do Shift D, duplicate scale. Okay, I need to disable this for now. Scale X. Let's get rid of uh, clipping for now. Scale X. Scale X, scale it down. I wanted to put something here as well. Again, same rule of uh, level of detail, that no big areas that are just super plain. So E to extrude, S to scale. A rail type of thing here. There you go. And we could even do like lengthen that and do shift D to duplicate it. Shift D scale X. And E to extrude. There we go. Maybe that looked a little bit too plain, maybe there. We could put another fake light source here, maybe. Where that light, or with this uh, dining window is. G, G, G. G. Okay, Dale, delete key to get it to move. And then, too bright. 30,000, that's from the engines, right? So maybe a thousand just. Starting to lag a little bit in my viewport now. I think I ne only need to go like 200 here or something. Shift D to duplicate and there we go. That's it. So the thing that you'd probably want to fix three minutes to go is that uh, get rid of the mirror modifier and then uh, make sure that these windows aren't that symmetrical anymore. That would have been probably quite good. I think I'm gonna put 
here, shift D, duplicate, scale, Z, bring that in, scale it down, E to extrude, S to scale. Well, uh, sun cap there, that could be lowered if necessary. I probably like forgot something super important. I didn't set 0.2, Alt S 0.2, some panels. Darker. I'm, I'm sure I've forgotten something crucial now that I'm going to beat myself up about. Three minutes. All right, guys. I wish uh, if this was a, a live stream now, I could have actually spoke to you about what to put here now. ITN set 0.2, Alt S 0.2. Another panel, maybe. Here. I 0.2, Alt S 0.2. Another panel. Fuel cells. Everything's there. Some fighters, but I don't have two minutes. Like in two minutes, I don't have time to put some fighters on there. Uh, we, we could do uh, a render of it, I guess. What happens if we press F12? It crashed. I hope my recording doesn't stop. Oh, it did crash. <laughs> well, I'm glad I saved it just before and then. It's because I've got, uh, I think, 4K uh, shadow panels. Okay. I will try to figure out stuff to do with the time that's left. Maybe put some antennas here as well. So I'll do Shift D, duplicate. Rendered on that one. E to extrude. Snap it back. E to extrude. S to scale. L to select the linked. So 90 minutes. Maybe I should do one hour instead. Maybe 90 minutes was a bit too long. Here's a big area. I can get rid of that one. E to extrude. S to scale. Bring this in. I should actually work in the render view so I don't... And then I to insert. Alt E, extrude long face normals. And dark. 37 seconds. That's it. I just made it in time. Lucky. <laughs> just made it. So episode 100. We've got 24 seconds to go. What am I going to do? I'm stressing. No, I'm not. <laughs> so anticlimax here. I could make this uh, darker. A little finishing touches here. Oops. Everything's good. Here we've got a few areas. That's it. Ah! <laughs> I'm not even... <laughs> okay, so that was nice. A non-stressful episode 100. But I'm actually quite stressed now because I've got to meet my son up in nine minutes. So I'm going to go up, make some sandwiches and go meet him for lunch. And we'll go and feed the ducks a little bit by the ocean. The ducks never showed up, so we had to enjoy some uh, nice sea breeze and, and some waves instead, and just a couple of sandwiches and a cup of coffee and hot chocolate. I'm really happy with the result of this uh, mothership, actually. I think one big step that I made different this time was to not try to make everything out of the same mesh. That was uh, quite important. I always tend to make my spaceships out of one mesh, and you end up with a lot of uh, like uh, insets and extrusions that are all connected. But I think I by far prefer this method. All right, let's go here. So this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to enable this uh, modifier again, the bevel modifier. There we go. And then we'll render this one to get some more cool edges there. Save this as a workbench. And then let's render the EV version as well here. So go back into the rendering tab. EV 
F12. There's our EV rendered image. Save that one. And let's go into Photoshop and composite these. I know you can do these in the compositor, but this uh, episode is already long enough, so I should try to ra round it off a little bit. Our EV version and then our workbench version on top here, if I can get it there. And then let's blend it with color dodge. So you can see the difference there, 100%. Pretty good, actually, with 100%, I think. 100%. Alright, that's gonna be it. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you've enjoyed the series and if you've enjoyed this episode, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more future fun on this uh, channel. I'm Infensia and until next time, sometime in the future, take care and I'll see you there. Bye for now. <laughs>